Claude says the feature is done. I test it, it's always broken. Well, not anymore. I'll show you how to make AI actually test its own work. Open the browser, click buttons, take screenshots, verify everything works. We'll do that using the Playwright MCP server. I run an AI dev agency and a school community. Our team catches AI bugs before they reach production. Let's make AI test its own code. For those who don't know what Playwright is, it's a end-to-end -end testing framework for modern web apps. Basically, it allows code to open browsers, click around the browser and make sure the tests pass and make sure the code is functional. It's a widely used framework in the world of code. We are going to be using the Playwright MCP server. This is what allows our AI agent to connect to Playwright. Okay, so I use Claude code, but this MCP server, there's instructions for your favorite IDE as well. One thing this MCP server doc is missing is that you need to install Playwright on your computer first. So I use Ubuntu on Windows subsystem for Linux. The instructions can vary a bit depending on Mac and whatnot, uh, but I've got node installed, npx Playwright install. Simple command to install Playwright using npx package manager. The other command that you should be aware of is npx Playwright install hyphen dependencies because Ubuntu may not have all the dependencies installed already. This command is just gonna install the dependencies for you as well. I've already got this installed, so I don't need to do it now. Open up Visual Studio Code. Here in my repository, I've got a .mcp.json file and I've got the Playwright server configured here. The two extra commands I added were hyphen hyphen browser and chromium. I'm using npx here because I use Windows subsystem for Linux on Windows. So this will vary depending on your environment and setup. So let me just open bash and spin up a Claude instance, verify our MCP tools are connected. So context seven is connected, playwright is connected. It's got all the various tools. Now, what I'm gonna do is spin up an NPM server and please test responsiveness using Playwright. This repository is a tutorial on Nano Banana I did a while ago. I'm just gonna run the NPM dev server. Let's see what it looks like. So this is what it actually looks like. And Claude has now opened Chromium. This is Playwright and Chromium, not me. So it's just testing it responsivenessly. See the flickering thing happening? That's Claude doing magic in the background. Okay, so this. Playwright navigate to URL. Let me test responsiveness. Resize browser window for small. Take a screenshot. Read the screenshot. Resize browser window for tablet. Take a screenshot, read this screenshot. Claude has access to the console logs. Claude has access to play with this browser and Claude is now verifying its responsiveness itself. I just use responsiveness as a little example, but we could make a feature and then ask Claude to test the feature. Click button, navigate, check console logs, the whole thing. Claude has access to the NPM dev server and Claude has access to Playwright and the browser console logs. Half of debugging is browser console logs and server logs. In this particular instance, Claude has access to both of them now. Okay, so it's taken all the screenshots in tablet, mobile, and desktop, and it's read them, and it's gonna make an assessment if this is responsive or not. It says it seems to be responsive and there's no issues here anywhere. So if you wanna do a double check on some other thing, what does Chrome console log show? Yeah, so if I don't even need to copy paste these logs, what are the console logs? So it has access through the Playwright MCP server on these things, okay? So it's like, see, get console messages, yes. And we can ask it, don't ask again for Playwright tools. I mean, Playwright tools are relatively safe anyways. It's not like they can take over the world with them. I mean. So it knows the access. These are some warnings. Do I do anything? Do I not do anything? So we've got our AI coding agent connected with a browser, connected on the NPM server logs and console logs and access to a browser. We can make it click around, test it features before it says, I'm done. 
using this can 10x productivity easily. If you've got a better approach, drop a comment below. I run a school community with more than 100 plus people where we talk about AI coding all day, every day. We do live weekly Q and A's and there's crash courses as well on how to get started with AI coding. So subscribe to the channel for more content. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.